This reality was a very remote, very remote possibility. It was in no one's mind. When I was growing up, I was taught in American history books that Africa had no history, and neither did I. That I was a savage, about whom the less said the better, who had been saved by Europe and brought to America. And of course, I believed it. I didn't have much choice. Those are the only books there were. Everyone else seemed to agree. If you walk out of Harlem, ride out of Harlem, downtown, the world agrees. What you see is much bigger, cleaner, whiter, richer, safer. Where you are, they collect the garbage. People obviously pay their life in jail. The children are happy. Say, you're not. And you go back home. Is a terrible thing. What is unspoken? Is a terrible thing. What is unspoken? Is a terrible thing.
church bells ring loudly. Sirens swell, morphing into church bells, signaling another unjustifiable death. to accept the fact that I have to accept, for example, that my ancestors are both white and black, that on that continent we are trying to forge a new identity for which we need each other, and that I am not a ward of America. I am not an object of missionary charity. I am one of the people who built the country.